Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode and today on Hot La Mode we are doing another reaction to Say Yes to the Dress Bridesmaids Edition. These are the ones that let me like get out my frustration and I don't have to be overly nice or like kind or lovely or caring. And you know, it's nice to be kind and lovely and nice and caring at times, but this is not one of those times. So we're gonna be reacting to, again, two different Say Yes to the Dress Bridesmaids clips. I haven't watched them, so this is a, a surprise. Quel surprise, as the French say. But before we get any further into the video, I wanna say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, who is Skillshare. If you're unsure about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help structure your time and set up achievable goals. Drawing, writing, and journaling classes can be a great way to help manage stress, practice mindfulness, and feel connected to one another. Skillshare offers memberships with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. There are so many topics you can choose to delve into. Some of my favorites, of course, include their fashion classes, marketing classes, and creative writing classes which are so helpful for making my fashion essay videos. I've recently really gotten into reading, which probably sounds really bad, but for all of those that also love to read, one of my new favorite classes is Roxane Gay's Creative Writing, Crafting Personal Essays with Impact. You might know Roxane Gay as the New York Times bestselling author of Bad Feminist and Hunger, as well as having written for Marvel, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and more. This class might have actually inspired me to start writing some essays about my experiences in the fashion industry, if I'm being honest, but like don't expect anything anytime soon, you know what I mean? So whether you're trying to keep yourself occupied, you're trying to focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning and inspired. And right now, the first thousand people to click the link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after the free trial, it's only around $10 a month. So check the link in the description box below. It will be there, click it, and you'll get your free Skillshare Premium membership. So again, click the link in the description box below and thank you, Skillshare. With that, let's get into the rest of the video. Let us greet the bride and bridesmaid. Here we go. Meanwhile, across the salon, consultant Brandon greets a sweet oh, bride my favorite. to make her second Team. wedding special. Legend. Hi. Wait, sorry. Brandon update with the leather sleeves is making me chuckle. He's not wearing his usual like solo button down shirt with bright tie. Here, I feel like we're having a style step up. It's still mid 2010s, I presume, cause like he got that from Forever 21. But you know what? It's not the usual, so I'll take it. I, I like it. Who is the bride? My name is Jenna Monk. Um Sorry, wait. Kind of love the heavy southern accent. From Waycross, Georgia, and White I'm Cross, 25 Georgia. years old. This is 20 my second. Oh my god, that could be me. I feel like every video, it's me saying like, oh my god, they're so young. And I'm like, hmm, wait, maybe they're actually not that young and I just need a boyfriend. And, I don't know, a wedding sometime soon, hopefully. Who knows? This time, I have met the man of my dreams. What is your Oh my god, name? good for her. Sweetest person you'll ever meet. He okay, his name's BJ, but like, like they are his own. And oh, that's we're nice. having a beautiful wedding and it's gonna be my day. Who have you Aww. brought with you today? I Love have that. my mother, Aunt Michelle, okay. cousin and bridesmaid, Kara, my friend Carrie, my friend Crystal, maid of honor, maid and of honor. sister, sister Brandy, nice to meet you. And oh, my wait, best okay. friend, Lisa. Most of my bridesmaids are family. My best friend, Lisa, I've known since fifth grade, and I couldn't <laughs> picture my wedding day without them. Okay, I love that. We're trying shorter, navy blue, country okay. vintage. Let me be clear. I have been to a wedding in the country. I sat on a hay bale. And since that day, I've experienced the aesthetic of a country wedding. I will say no more. So, you know what? Here's my thing. Me wants to say, Ugh, but me also realizes this is the way people live their lives. It's not a lifestyle that I would choose, but breeders can't be choosers, I would say. So in that regard, I'm going to go into this with an open mind. It is Pride Month. Let people be, love is love, et cetera, et cetera. And that extends to straight people as well. So let's see what happens with the country wedding. I saw the cowboy yeah. boots. I love cowgirl boots. I love 
the lace vintage look. How's that? Wait, the lace vintage with the cowgirl boot? I need to know. Is there like an aesthetic in that? Like down in the bayou? I don't even know if cowgirl boot, cowboy boot aesthetic extends into the bayou. I have not done like a deep dive into the aesthetics of the South, but I would presume that it's more like rubber boot and like camouflage in that area. But I'm interested in the idea of vintage lace and cowboy boots. Budget. We're trying to stay 150 to two. Lace is okay, a little cute. Budget expensive. Conscious. Is anybody Love going to go that. over to? It'll be hard to do. Okay. I'm a single mom, I have a two year old little boy and we have a one bedroom apartment. We just make ends meet. I have to remain in my budget. I'm willing to pay more. Okay, also the thing we have to understand is like, you know, not everybody can wear this collarless pink jacket with faux gold buttons. Also, not everybody wants to wear the collarless pink jacket with faux gold buttons, but I digress. I do think it's important to like stay within a budget, especially if there are other people involved. And also it's a dress you're gonna wear once and it's more than likely not gonna be cute. So why do you want to spend more on it? I don't know. My role is to support Jenna and make sure okay. she has this wedding of her dreams. Grab the cowboy boots. Okay, I feel like the bridesmaid's well, dress is, isn't bride that Jenna important to the vision. wedding of the dreams, but. Lisa does some accounting of her own. Whew. I'm starting to panic. Prices are definitely higher than I was expecting. What do you guys think about this dress? $2.98. A little above the price range, but maybe we can keep it in mind. We'll see what Jenna thinks. Are you worried Ooh, that stand you off. on a dress? I am worried. She's dead set on a low budget. And I understand. Lisa and I have been through everything. She was at my first wedding. I was eight months pregnant and got married at the courthouse in a sweater and khaki pants. Okay. Very embarrassing. Okay, you know what? If we're doing vintage lace and cowboy boot or cowgirl boot, I don't know if sweater and khakis is super embarrassing, but. This time I could see myself in a lace gown, form fitted at the top and a low back. When I think of country, I do love a low she... back. I think of this. I like that. It's 313. Oh, not with the, so with the sash. Over budget. I say let's let them try it on without telling them the price just to see if they like it. Valid point. Oh, wow. Okay. I like that. Very pretty. Brandy is wearing a lace dress with a plunging neckline. Oh, okay. So she wants a lace dress for herself for her wedding. So a white lace dress. She also wants them to wear lace dresses for her wedding. I was not understanding that in the beginning. I thought we were getting like a chiffon moment. And so like, you I know really what? Like we're looking, we're seeing, we're not getting to see you up close, but you know. It's a cocktail dress, almost knee length with a pair of cowgirl boots. It fits her really, really nicely. I think the dark blue is nice. I feel like dark blue and what I presume would be, you know, a beige-ish, tan. I feel like the cow person boot, and I'm fully going for cow person. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. I feel like it gives enough room in between the cow person boot and the sort of cocktail knee length dress that it's not an awkward moment where things are sort of juxtaposing against each other in a really awful way. There's some sort of leg being shown. It allows the elongation of the body. It's not completely awful, terrible, horrid. I, I like really the navy like blue. That. Very pretty. Brandy. I like it without the belt. I think it's sweet in that regard. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, we're not we're not loving the pale, dusty pink moment. I feel like it sort of could work for some people that love the cow person aesthetic, but the sash, mm, she just doesn't seem super duper happy about it, which, you know, you have to be able to carry the garment. And I feel like the girl in the navy blue is really like giving it. She's giving it her all. The girl in the dusty pink, she's not selling me. <laughs> Crystal yeah, no, is wearing a lace that. dress with full sleeves. Not fond of the sleeves. Mm. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, okay, Brandon. Lisa. Okay, Lisa. Lisa is wearing a strapless sweetheart neckline dress with a belt. I actually like Brandy's the best with the plunging neckline. Yeah, I like the plunge. I think it's cute. I think it's like respectable. I think it works. I'm not saying the dress has to be respectable. I think it looks nice. I also I don't mind the strapless the one. Of the lace and the cowgirl boots. And this is exactly what I've dreamed Why of. Why is she kind of selling me on this? I'm not like, I'm gonna do that for my wedding. But I'm also not like, this is the most hideous thing in the entire world. But I don't hate the strapless. Like I'm not super duper mad about it. I hate the black 
belt on it, but I don't know why we have to have black belts on everything. But yeah, I don't I don't despise yeah, strapless styles wedding. either. How much is it? Oh. This dress is three hundred and ten dollars. Okay. Would you guys be willing to pay three hundred bucks for that? I can do the three hundred or the three ten, but I'm not a single mom. I have two income family, but I do love this dress. Okay, I feel like we respect the somewhat understanding aspect of that comment. Well, Lisa, are you willing to pay that much? <sighs> if I can. Being a single Okay, girls, like everybody so chip in a little bit, you know what I mean? Lisa puts do. up the 200 and everybody else helps really out. Being able to is two different things. <laughs> Jenna's my best friend and she's been through a lot with her past Aww. marriage and being a single parent, I can't always do what I want to do. There's like six people in this wedding party besides Lisa, and I feel like if everybody just chipped in like 15, 20, it would be a solved issue and we wouldn't be having the, the crying and the sadness and, you know, the upsetment. You know what I mean? Like, we can think logically about this. I don't want to be the reason we don't get a dress that she really likes. Aww. Looking at Lisa, I can tell that she is squirming and she does not want to pay. $300 for this dress. I absolutely love the dress, but I can't ask my bridesmaids to do something that they just Jenna. Can't. So I guess we're just trying some more dresses, okay? The dress seems Jenna's a cutie. insignificant compared to having my best friend beside me. But it, it's hard watching my perfect dress slip away. Okay, we've only seen three dresses so far though, Jenna, so like we have time, you know what I mean? A tall order to find something that will live up to her dream dress. So I'm gonna pull three super awesome sassy chiffon dresses that will complement the cowboy okay. boots. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm not like, okay, oh, I mean. Wow. Brady is wearing a chiffon and satin dress with the a- The asymmetrical neckline isn't really necessary, but I don't like hate the shoulder. chiffon styles. See, like the purple, you know, I think it does look weird and it seems like there's some sort of excess on the side there which is weird and i don't really understand that moment the deconstruction is great when it's margella on the runway or monse i don't know if that's like necessarily georgia-esque no offense to the georgians watching it's just doesn't seem like it's necessarily their vibe. I like the, that's cute. This is cute. I'm not mad about this. Bobinette dress with a sweetheart neckline. Like that little strapless, she's a cutie. She's a little fit and flair. She's fun and she's funky. It's a little bit prom, but like, I mean, it's say it's to the dress bridesmaids. So like, what are we expecting? I don't hate that. Okay, don't love Lisa the is wearing a chiffon dress strapless. with a sweetheart neckline. Or I absolutely strapped. love the navy blue. I don't love, uh, yeah, the navy blue is cute. I do not love that little purple moment. I don't think it's like a bad color. I don't think the fit is horrible, but like, why do we need the asymmetrical floral fabric flower one strap? It's just not necessary. And also it's gonna jack up the price. I really like that dress. Yeah, it's a cute dress. I'm Anything not mad about compared this. compared to the lace dresses is disappointing. But that blue one is hot. This dress I is love. fun and flirty, and I think it will really go well with the theme that I'm going for. And it goes really good with the boots, mm -hmm. I feel like. It does. Can we get a shout out of what the price is? $192. <gasps> I do like that one better. Love that. And the price is better. And I'm good, I'm good with that. I, I like this dress. It's a fun, fun dress. I think I actually did it. I think I found the dress. <laughs> it's cute. No, it's I'm not mad about it. So are we saying yes? We are saying yes to that Aww, dress. Oh, I love yes. that. Yay. I'm so I happy. love this dress. This one's perfect. She's so cute. I'm not mad about I'm it. I'm honored to you be know. one of the few people she picked to stand up there beside okay, her I can't on stand her wedding Jenna. day. She's a cutie, she knows what she's doing, she loves her friend, she respects people's boundaries. I'm a fan. The dress was also cute, so like, it's not even like we're leaving with something fuggo. It's just, it's a moment, I'm not mad, can't wait, wish I was invited to the wedding. Maybe the last one was a little bit dramatic, but you know what I mean. Let's move on to Maid of Honor wants a dress to show off her cleavage, which I mean like, if you got it, flaunt it. I respect that. Consultant Nikki steps okay, out Nikki. to greet a bride who's got all her girls with her. Plus, a little something extra. Hello, ladies! Hi. How are you today? Who's the bride? I'm the bride. I am Joy Mibbitt. Okay. I'm one years old. I am a Georgia peach, born and raised. 
I love a Georgia. Am Mary, Jerry Seiler. Jerry's. Oh, okay. So like, I didn't want to say anything, and I gave a little look because I was like, oh, they've invited a gay man on the bridesmaid experience. You know what I mean? Did not realize that was the fiance. He, you know, I just. I presume because it's a yes to the dress. And it's not really super duper often that like the fiance or the husband is on the show. So like that's the only reason I presumed. It's my poo poo. Okay, I don't know what that means. Rooftop in the spring. Okay. I'm still shopping for my dress, but I <gasps> definitely Joy. Want a signature piece. Okay, who's who? Today I brought with me. I know this is not say yes to the dress regular edition, but Joy. On the dress, we need it. We need to know. You can't be picking out bridesmaids' dresses without knowing what your dress is gonna look like. That's just my opinion. My six bridesmaids. I also brought with me my sister Octavia, who is my maid of honor. Oh. I picked. I was gonna say, wait, Octavia is not a bridesmaid. That doesn't sound great, but these good ladies to know. because we're best friends. I wanted to have people around me that are genuinely for joy. You are. I feel like it's a cute little double entendre. It's like for happiness, but also for joy as in that person. A pretty bridesmaid. <laughs> Me. This is my fiance. Oh, we've got a groom in the house. Okay, see, she is also like, I was not expecting this. Was it your decision to come today? Yes, ma'am. I know her oh. friends pretty well, and I'm pretty fashionable myself. I don't like grooms. You know what? Lori, I feel ya. In a bridesmaid context, I think it's a little bit better. But in the entire context, I'm just like, why? You know, listen, I'm all for whoever wants to look, think, give thought, opinion, express themselves about dresses. Because again, non-gendered, but also, meh, let's see. They think they know fashion, but I got a news flash for them, they don't. I'm definitely a hands-on groom. My opinions okay. do matter in this situation because I'm paying for the dresses. Wait a minute. Okay, Jerry, I understand. He's saying, listen, I have to dress groom's men. That is similar. I respect the ability to want it to look nice and well done and petite and sweet and ready to eat. I got it. I'm here for Jerry in that regard. This groom's paying for all the dresses? <gasps> Well then come on in, honey. Wait, okay, Jerry. Jerry's like, actually, I'm gonna do this because I know I can creative direct now. And you are always welcome. I'm just here to make all the friends happy. Okay. Aw, okay. Jerry, I'm a stan. I'm sorry that I presumed, Jerry, this you know what, what they say. Do, but I'll have the final say. Get this party started, come on. Excuse me, excuse me, lady. How, how do y'all feel about this long? I feel terrible. Hey, but you like, can't knock until you try, though. I mean, okay, Jerry. Find and see. If you want us if to try, try it, it we'll, we'll try it. <laughs> I gotta talk to you away from everybody about what you want. I do want. I like fine and see. In fashion forward, the colors of my wedding are black and white, so I want cute okay. but sophisticated black dresses for my bridesmaid. Simple, not super duper crazy. Audrey Hepburn black dress, Givenchy, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Sabrina. Uh, like we got the vibe. As long as I look no, different, I don't. Know. All of these. Keep that away. <gasps> I Wait. Okay. Sorry. Octavia said I am also going to be a main character in this experience. She said I'm not going for best actress, but she's going for best supporting actress. Have to stand out. It has to show off my cleavage. That'll be hot. No, Octavia. I definitely. You know what? I stand Octavia if she wants to show it off. I respect that. I think this looks oh great God. on me. <laughs> I tell you, she's kind of on another level. I am not paying for the dresses so she can get all the attention of the bride. Love it. I'm trying Valid to decide. point, Jerry. I want to pick out what I like, and it has to be hot. But I'm not going for it. I'm crystal clear about how I want this wedding to look. So we've got a groom who thinks he's in charge. We've got a sister who thinks she's in charge. And then we've got the bride who should be the only one in charge. I've got to make this impossible appointment. Good luck, Nikki. Love my job. Well, Jerry wants to pick the first round of dresses, which seems okay. fair because he is paying after all. Yeah. And he says he's got great fashion sense. You know what I mean? Go in, see Jerry's aesthetic, and then delightfully pivot Jerry's opinion. A great woman once taught me the way to get a straight man to think, act, and move in your favor is to make them think that they are the ones that had the idea. And it's a great thought process because this is what we do. We let Jerry pick out the dresses and then we all finesse our opinions in a way that Jerry believes, oh, this was my idea. And then we let him think it was his idea, but it's on camera. So we all know it. 
then it's not really his idea, but we let him think that because that's the way to do it. I just hope that extends to bridesmaids' dresses. Ladies, I do kind of love Charity. Okay. Hmm. Cherry is Jillian is wearing himself. a long mermaid dress with a sweetheart neckline and a bow accent. Uh huh. I like that jersey. Well, yes, Jerry, sweetie, you did pick it out. The dress, I mean, like, it's in a satin, it's form fitting. Mermaid is dramatic. I would say it just flares out a little bit at like the mid thigh, and then it has that, that pulled bow in the middle. It's just, it's not great. It's not really a great choice at all. Okay. Quinette is wearing a Mikado cocktail length dress with a sweetheart neckline. You look good on. <laughs> the green, you know what? It's a little cocktail moment. She's in a cute like avocado. They said Mikado or something along those lines. That's a color I do not know yet at this point in my life. It has the little black sash, which not great, but I do think that it definitely cinches in in a way that's not the worst. Would I pick it? No, but. Okay, black, cute little flare moment. Octavia is wearing an organza party frock with a crew neckline. I think we hit the nail with the hammer though with this one. This is hideous. Hit the nail with the hammer. It's so ugly. Okay, listen, Octavia's not the worst. I'm seeing the sort of fitted bateau neckline. I'm seeing the little layering of the organza over the initial skirt so that it flares and flounces and moves and grooves a little bit. Do I love the bedazzled belt aspect? No. Can I chalk it up to a little bit of Simone Rocha before Simone Rocha was Simone Rocha? Possibly. But yeah, I don't think the black one is the worst. I think genuinely the black one is so far the best. The rest are sort of there. Ugh. She's just mad because it's not showing off the girls. How are you gonna rate this dress? I gave it like a zero. Oh, Joy! Uh, okay, Joy is not happy. I didn't think a zero. I thought we were gonna get like a seven, but okay. I for sure. For sure, I thought you would have gave it a ten. Not for the wedding. Obviously, there's more to learn about each other before you get married. Right. I don't want their dresses showing off too much, but I can't do that to my sister. I can't do that. Okay, so Joy's in the middle. She's like, I understand where Jerry's coming from. She's also like, I want Octavia to live her best life. I got it. Octavia, go take that dress out quick for somebody to see you. <laughs> it's an ugly dress. I don't think it's that ugly. I don't like the dress. No, Jerry is upset. Jerry. These are the most hideous dresses ever. This is not gonna work. Nah. So this is why I need your help. Okay. With this Wait, next I'm round, bad. we've got to find something form-fitting okay. and sexy. Okay, Brandon's black shirt with the gold buttons, kind of living. I feel like this is different than like the usual Brandon who looks like he is a background dancer to Sweet 16, and I'm kind of into it. But not going away from keeping it elegant. Keep it classy, not trashy. Exactly. That's why I need you. Ladies, Wait, I'm dead. Hi. He really said I'm going for like haute couture, Balenciaga, Chanel vibes, and I'm kind Very of aw. into it. Brandon and I picked this next round. Hopefully, okay. we've gone a little bit more neutral. in the direction of what it's you're looking for. It's a neutral. It was great that Nikki brought Brandon choices. in because we need to get it rolling. If he doesn't pick me out something nice, I'm taking his jacket and I'm leaving. <laughs> See, Joy knows it's cute. Okay. Ah. Jillian is wearing a European satin cocktail dress with a sweetheart neckline. Okay, I don't think it's the worst. I'm not obsessed. I'm not like, oh my God, that's the dress, but it's not bad. Okay, a little bit too. Oh. Quinette is me. wearing a chiffon dress, one shouldered with ruching throughout the bodice. All oh. right. Octavia. Oh wait, I'm Octavia is my girl and I'm obsessed. Octavia is wearing a European satin pencil cocktail Wait, dress strapless screaming. with a tray. Octavia knows is what is up. Stand out. I don't think that's gonna work. This dress is too flashy. It's just something they can wear to the club, but not to this gorgeous wedding we're having. First things first, Jerry. It's definitely giving me Yves Saint Laurent 1980s sort of vibes. You know the iconic dress with the little pink bow at the back? Like that's what that is giving me. This is giving me like Vixen. This is giving me Femme Fatale. This is giving me like a moment. I understand why they're like, we don't want to necessarily do that. I think it's a bit prudish, a little bit too Scarlet Letter-esque, but I see what they're saying. But personally, I am pro Octavia wearing the shit out of this. What do we think about Quinette's dress? I like that one. I like the 
top. I like the pleating. It's not the worst. You know what I mean? It's giving me a little bit V&A. It's giving me a little bit Madame Rag. You know, not on those levels, but it's not awful. A little design. Now we're cooking. Textured. With a, this is what I've been talking Wait, about joy right does. here. On a scale of one to 10, how are you going to rate? I do kind of like the fact that it asymmetrically sort of centers itself as the gathers move to like the side. I think that's sort of fun. I think that's sort of interesting. It's working for me a little bit. A scale of one to 10, how are you going to rate this dress? I would give it a 10. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. What'd you give this one? I like the length, mm -hmm. the material. That's definitely a 10. Okay. All right, real talk. Tavia is upset. So we have two 10s. We can't do anything with that. So you either need to pick a dress now or you need to pick a dress now. How are you going to choose and make your final decision? Can I make one for you? Excuse me. In my mind, a perfect 10 is the cheapest dress. Jerry. Yeah, I was going to say. We have a winner. We can't expect that all of the work that goes into that pleating is going to cost as much as the simple gather on the black Roll dress. Roll with Jill's dress. <laughs> one seven seven is done. I'm not going to let him make this decision. Yeah, Joy. I don't care how much it costs. We got to know what you want. You got to slam your opinion down, because you are the bride. Excuse me, Nick. I think the groom has an opinion on this, what Jill has. I don't know, know Jerry. No. Oh, she said no. <laughs> I like Quinette's dress. <laughs> Hair back with nice, big earrings. You're sure? I'm sure. Joy, is this your dress? Yes, this is the bridesmaid's dress. Yay! Okay, cute. I'm not mad about so, it. Guys, no, I'm not winning this battle, so. Okay, I Jerry, have to roll we respect with what she that. Wants. This is definitely the bridesmaid's dress that's gonna make my future wife happy. Aww. Aww. Octavia, you're okay with it. I am. Aww, Aww. I love that. <laughs> she picked the middle dress, but I'm gonna I tweak it her. with the diamond blinged out brooch, so I'm gonna stand out from these. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed with Octavia. That was cute. I didn't mind that episode. I thought that was gonna be genuinely a lot worse than it actually was. So let's do a best and worst. I'm gonna go for the best Octavia's second dress. The black with the little pink fold over tuck. I just thought it was hot. I thought it was fun. I thought she looked amazing. I thought it was gorgeous. I thought it was stunning. I thought it was glamour. Worst dress, I feel like there actually weren't that many bad ones. The asymmetrical floral fabric flower dress in that purple wasn't cute, wasn't attractive, wasn't interesting. Like, why would you do that in the beginning? It's just a waste. It's a waste of fabric. It's a waste of somebody's time. It's a waste of people's energy. It's not cute. So that is the end of today's video. Again, I want to say a huge shout out to Skillshare. And again, check that link in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and TTYL.